Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Notes from the Sewing Room, my name's Becky. My channel is all about my sewing and dressmaking journey, so if that's something that interests you, please do hit the subscribe button and um, hit that notification bell as well and you'll be notified of all my latest content. Um, today's video is all about what I've been making during August. Some of the things are new and some of the things uh, you may have seen in some of my other videos, but I want to do a bit of a roundup of the whole month just to show you what I've been creating. Before we start, I know some of you like to see my Labrador Bentley, so he's just in the um, in the background here in the yellow chair. I'm not sure if you can you can see him there, so um, I'm sure he'd say hi to you if he could do. So he was just drinking from his bowl very loudly, um, but uh, he stopped that now. He's decided he's having a little sleep. So. Um, but yeah, he's just in the background there if you can see him. So I hope you've been having a lovely week, whatever you have been um, doing. Um, we have had pretty nice weather here in the UK this week, um, although as I'm sitting here and recording this video, it is chucking it down with rain outside. So, um, you know, hopefully that weather will come back and it will be nice for the bank holiday weekend, but I don't know, we'll wait and see. So I've got lots to um, chat to you about today. So I'll start with what I'm wearing. So the first thing, Thing, um, that I'll tell you about is actually what I've got on my head. So I don't know if you can see that if I just lean forward. I'm actually wearing a little headband today. So um, the headband is actually made out of some um, cotton fabric that I got from So Hayley Jane. It came in my first ever subscription box. So I did actually record a video about unboxing my first subscription box. So um, you can um, have a look at that in uh, one of my older videos if you'd like to go back and check that out. Obviously after you finish watching today's video. Um, but um, it's made out of a fat quarter so I love fat quarters I think there's loads of possibilities of things that you can do with them so for this one I decided to make this little headband so um, it's a lovely kind of pink fabric it's got a few flowers on I think it's got a bit of a 70s vibe to it so I really like it I didn't use a pattern for it I literally cut two long pieces of fabric sewed them together right sides together um, and then I've basically tied them in a knot at the top and then I've just tucked the um, the excess a little bit underneath so and I really like it I never used to be a headband wearer, but I think during lockdown, and my roots were really bad, I decided that I was going to start wearing headbands, and I kind of just got really into it, so I know my husband quite likes to see me in a headband as well, which is nice, so I've... Um, yeah, just whip this one up so quickly and uh, it's lovely to have a little speedy project as well. Uh, so maybe I'll be able to make a few of these quickly um, in the, well, in the next few weeks, uh, perhaps when my uh, baby arrives. So my, um, my baby is due in September, so uh, we're kind of counting down the weeks now really, so um, it's very exciting. So I am kind of keeping a few little speedy projects in the back of my mind for, um, you know, if I do get any sewing time at some point in the future. So, uh, but I'll keep you posted on uh, anything that I do make. The next thing I wanted to tell you about today is another thing that I'm wearing, and that is this lovely top. So, um, it reminds me actually of a bit of a candy sweet, um, or I don't know, maybe a rhubarb custard or something like that but I really love the print of it. It's just so bright and zany. As you can see, it's got this lovely um, red and pink stripy design on it with some plovers with little um, hearts in. So I must say this fabric was gifted to me by Grazilla Fabric. So I hope I'm saying that correctly. So um, I don't think they're a brand new fabric company, but they are new to me, if you know what I mean. So I, um, liked a few of their posts online. I was introduced to them by someone else that I follow on Instagram and um, they basically asked me if I would uh, review one of their fabrics for them. So they sent me this out in the post for free, the fabric, um, and in exchange for me doing a, a blog post about it in my own words. So um, as you know, I'm always honest on the channel. I always uh, talk about things, um, you know, with, with my own views rather than anyone else's. So um, yeah, I really like the fabric that they sent me. Um, it's a lovely uh, cotton jersey. It's got a lovely weight to it. It's kind of, I would describe it as medium weight. So it's not too light, not too heavy either. And 
and I've made, you may recognise it if you've seen any of my other sort of jersey project makes, it is a sew over it Edie top. So I love this pattern, it's so quick and easy to do and it, you can whip it up in no time. Now I, I must say I did struggle a little bit with the pattern matching on, on the fabric with the stripes so I just kind of gave up in the end and I just thought do you know what when I'm wearing it he's gonna be like looking at my stripe matching and stuff so um I just thought probably no one apart from me so uh, I decided to leave it but yeah I really like it so I've made the t-shirt as you can see with a bit of a shorter sleeve rather than a three-quarter length arm or a long sleeve as it's got in the pattern pack but if you're unfamiliar with this top pattern um it was released I think probably some point last year I'm not sure now um but it's it's really simple it's literally got two bodice panels one for the front one for the back and then it's got the arm pieces as well. Um, and I've literally top stitched it around the neckline, um, the cuffs and uh, the bottom section with the twin needle. So me and the twin needle on my machine, sometimes we're friends and sometimes we're not. Um, but this time we actually got on okay. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's something to do with the tension on my machine, but sometimes it uh, plays ball a little bit more than, than other times. So I don't know if it's to do with the type of cotton I use or something like that. Who knows? But this time it was fine anyway. So but I'm really pleased with this make and um, I'm sure I'll be getting a lot of wear out of it, particularly as the weather uh, gets a little bit cooler and I can just layer this up with a cardigan. I have been wearing it today if I just lean forward with one of my little cropped blue cardigans. So it does look quite nice with that. So that's uh, that's the second thing that I wanted to show you. Now the, the third thing, I have got other things to show you as well, is another thing that I'm wearing today. If I just stand up and show you. So you may have seen this on one of my other videos that I did with Laura from the Specky Seamstress. Uh, we basically challenged each other to make a pattern from our stash that we've had for absolutely ages and you know just been hanging around for no particular reason and we, we wanted to make up so we, we, ch we chose a pattern for each other. I think we gave each other sort of four or five different potential options and Laura chose for me this Mitty skirt by Tilly and the Buttons. So I think this is one of Tilly's first patterns that she released. I think now it's only actually available in a PDF format rather than a paper format but I actually got the paper pattern because I've had it for that long I think my husband bought it for me for I don't even know now like a Christmas or a birthday or something like that and for no particular reason I've not got around to making it up but I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it loads since I made it. It's so comfortable. As I record this video, I am almost 36 weeks pregnant and it's perfect. It sits on my upper waist and because it's got the, um, the tie section, it's basically a wrap skirt if you are unfamiliar with it. So it allows me to have it as tight or as loose as I want it to be. And I'm pretty confident I'll be able to wear it after I've given birth as well. So two thumbs up from me. Now I'll just stand up so you can see it. I did decide to go for the um, the version with the large pocket on the front, but um, you know you could make it without the po pocket. It's got this lovely bow, so you can tie that here at the front, or you could tie it to one of the sides or something like that. And then it's got um, the wrap section actually at the back. But there's there's loads of wrap if you know what I mean. So um, there's no um, flashing to, to be had because. Yeah, you know, I do get worried with with kind of wrap skirts and wrap dresses and things like that. That um, I'm gonna, you know, have a, a moment where I, you know, flash, some, you know, my my legs or my pants or something that I didn't actually want anyone to see. So, uh, but no, there's there's none of that with this skirt. So. Yeah, I really, really like it. I made it in some fabric that I bought from Crafty So and So, so it's a lightweight um, chambray type fabric. So I really like it. I, I chose this fabric actually after uh, spotting something uh, that Freya from Crafty So and So had, had made for herself. I think she'd made some dungarees or something like that in in this fabric. And um, yeah, it's it's a really nice fabric. So I would say this skirt is quite fabric hungry so I used I bought two meters of fabric I think it was 60 wide and I used all of it um, and I literally had to piece together um, different uh, bits of the fabric to try and form this long bow for the front so it's it gets really good pattern but do be aware if you if you do make it that it is pretty fabric hungry and depending on how wide your fabric is you may need more fabric than you actually think for making a skirt but I like I say it's, it's so comfortable I love an a-line skirt it's one of my favorite things to wear so um and I think it looks really smart actually with this 
this um, with this new top that I've got on my little headband. So yeah, I'm re really pleased with that. So um, I've got a couple of other things to show you. So um, the next thing, if I just reach over to show you, is my first ever Ogden cami. So um, I'm unfamiliar really with the tree bias patterns and um, I took part in the Sew a Top Challenge, which was organized by Claire of Penguin and Pear. So you can find Claire on Instagram and also on YouTube as well. And um, she challenged um, 31 different vloggers from around the world to um, have basically a day in August uh, when they uh, uploaded a video that was um, all about a top or tops that, that, that they've made. So um, I looked through my pattern stash and I tried to work out what top I would go for. Uh, and I decided that I would make the Ogden because I'd not actually made it. I know it was like a really big pattern last summer. A lot of people were making it, but for whatever reason, I just didn't really get round to it. But I don't know why, because it's an awesome pattern. I really like it. It was so speedy to do. Um, not that sewing is all about speed. It's not. It should be about enjoyment. But I really enjoyed it also. So that's that's brilliant. I used a very lightweight, um, I don't know if it's a viscose or a rayon, something like that, from Guthrie and Garney. I had this fabric in my box for quite a long time probably bought it last year or the year before but I'm not I'm not sure to be honest but as you can see it's this lovely deep peach colour and it's got these um, large spots on it as well but um, I really like this top if I just hold it up to me you'll be able to see it and it's actually suitable to wear with my bump at the moment as well um i would say it's probably going to be more comfortable um after i'm pregnant because it is slightly on the fitted side around my bump area however i can just um utch up the top a little bit and um, it does fit nicely if i'm just tucking it into the top of a skirt without it being over the full curve of my bump so um but i have worn this quite a few times since i made it already it's been perfect for the warmer weather um i just love the construction of it and how it's got quite a long facing on the inside and um i've added in one of my little labels at the back as well made by becky if i just hold that up so you can see and that identifies which is the front and which is the back i think it does um, suggest that you do that actually in the pattern instructions because it is pretty similar to look at the top on the front and on the back um you've got basically a slightly deeper v on the back but that's also it could be quite confusing so if you haven't made this before and you're thinking of making it if you don't have any labels then i'd recommend maybe just putting a, a bit of ribbon or something like that in uh, the back uh, facing area just so that you know um you know which way around it's supposed to actually sit on you but I really like that the only thing with this fabric is it creases no end so it definitely needs ironing when it comes out of the wash and also um you just have to be careful where and how you hang it up because um yeah it's it does crease like nobody's business and yeah it was ironed it's been hung up and as you can see it has got a few creases in but there we are, what can you do? But it's a lovely, lovely top, so um, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I have posted a few pictures on Instagram of me wearing it, but I will um, insert a few uh, pictures on this video as well, and then you, you'll be able to see those pictures also um, if you don't follow me already on Instagram. Now, the final thing that I wanted to show you today is something that I've had a bit of a to-do with, if I'm honest. So I decided to make the um, Sew Over It Betty dress with the add-on pack. So that's the one, um, there's two different versions of the add-on pack. There's one with a scoop neck and there's one with a V-neck. So I decided to do the one with the V-neck. So that's a V at the front, a V at the back and sleeves. But I don't know what happened. I basically made the bodice. I did, it could have been because I used a very lightweight viscose fabric to make it in. Maybe, I don't know, it's kind of stretched out of shape or I don't know, lovely fabric. Maybe it's just not appropriate for that particular pattern. However, it just ended up being so big and I just couldn't understand it because I'd cut it to between a size 8 and a size 10 on the on the pattern instructions so I basically had to cut a new body so I love the Betty dress pattern um, the original one I've made it loads of times I've made it in a few different fabrics including a viscose before and I've had loads of wear out of them I just I'm sure I'll make more in the future so I was really looking forward to trying the add-on pack but to be honest I was a bit disappointed how it worked out because even though I took a few pictures, it looked nice. 
it was just a nightmare to wear because it just kept falling off my shoulders the whole time. And um, I'm not someone that normally has to do a, a shoulder adjustment of any sort, but it, yeah, it just, um, I, went, I wore it out in the car and it just kept kind of falling down all the time. So really frustrating. So I had limited fabric, but I managed to get a little bit more fabric and I've managed to fix it. So I'll show you uh, what I've done to fix it. So I've got it actually on a coat hanger here. So if I just hold that up, you'll be able to see. So I basically took off the bodice that I had on there originally. So the one uh, that had the V-neck with the sleeves and I've decided to replace it with the original Betty bodice. And it's so much better. It fits me so much um, more um, than, than the other one. And um, so, yeah, I, d I don't really know if I did something wrong when I cut out the pattern or perhaps they've changed the way that the pattern um, measurements go or I'm not really sure if I'm honest. But anyway, this is so much better now um, and it's got the, the V at the back. So I was able to actually wear my new version of my Betty dress uh, to a little baby shower that I had um, last weekend. So that was really, really lovely. And I had a few uh, compliments on my lovely dress as well. So I'm pleased that I was able to fix it and I'm now able to get some wear out of it as well. So yeah, so I'm, I'm pleased that all worked out in the end. But um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've had to show you today. And I know some of the things you may or may not have seen before. Please do go back and check out some of my other videos if you are unfamiliar with my channel. And also subscribe and uh, like this video as well if you have enjoyed what you've seen. I really do appreciate everyone who um, you know comes back time and time again and watches my videos um, and enjoys my content. So um, until next time, I shall leave it there. Um, say thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.